Buenos dias, everybody. I have been volunteering here in San Juan, Puerto Rico for almost three weeks now. I'm in a hostel with five other volunteers, which means a lot of people in one room, but also a lot of fun and not so much work to do. We only work two or three days a week, which is very nice. Our duties include cleaning the main areas, taking the garbage out, checking the guests in, doing laundry, etc. Nothing too complicated. If you're interested in doing something similar, working abroad or living for free, check my description below. Our manager, Carlos, gives us a lot of freedom and flexibility. If someone wants to go on a trip for three or four days, we can easily do it, which is amazing. Besides these regular duties, I was also assigned to do a little side project, which only made me happy, because it was all about plants. Because of my love of plants, they brought me these beauties to plant them outside and also some pots for the inside decor as well. I'm very excited. Actually, they're letting me stay here for free for another week, so I'm more than happy to do this for them. So I'm just separating the ones that I want to plant outside. This definitely goes outside because look how long this is. I just can't fit this in a pot. This is good for the inside. Look at this crazy dude. I don't know, I find this very beautiful. The nature will find its way kind of plant. Or this guy. Look at this. I am eating an instant ramen noodle with tomato sauce and olives. I know. <laughs> People who know me would find this very interesting. It's been probably like five years I had ramen noodles. It's not great. <laughs> I even borrowed this because I didn't have any food and I don't want to go out to eat because it's going to get dark soon and I want to get this done before it's dark. Dogging this soil out is a little bit harder than I thought because it's almost like clay, honestly. And I wish I had this, what do you call this? Bigger? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm getting some hope. Can I pre watch your video? <laughs> I told her that she has to watch my video about El Yunque because I make fun of her and now she asks me to let her watch it before I export it. <laughs> How long do you want the video? <laughs> I really don't see these plants thriving here, but this is the only soil we had, which is again, almost like a clay and well, they might die soon, but it's really not my fault. Being surrounded by so many people has some advantages and also disadvantages. The best thing about it is that you can never feel lonely. It might get lonely after traveling solo for a while, but not when you have five crazy chiquitas in your room who are down to hang out all the time. We've been going out a couple of nights a week, cooking together, hanging out with different guests and making short-term or lifelong friends. It's fun. It's what I'm looking for on World Packers. The obvious disadvantage is that you do not have any privacy, which can be a struggle for someone like me. I love being around people, but I also need to be alone. I get my daily dose of alone me time when I go out to a coffee shop to edit my videos, when I visit museums or just walk around. 
I visited El Morro, a fortification on the corner of the island built 500 years ago. This place was the most important military base for the Spaniards to control the sea and their enemies, mostly the Dutch and British. You know, I find it very interesting that the places like this were very crucial for people living five centuries ago. And if you told them that, hey, listen, in two centuries, 200 years, people will come here and take Instagram photos, they would be like, what? It's gonna be a museum? What the hell is that? Having this fort and having soldiers here guarding the sea is not important anymore. And I usually wonder what are the things that we do now that's not gonna be relevant in two centuries or five centuries. Something that's our everyday life now, I don't know. Will an Amazon warehouse turn into a museum or a Facebook headquarters or, I don't know, World Trade Center, White House, Kremlin? I've been trying to understand the history of this country and this is what I gathered so far. Indigenous people called Tainos populated Caribbean islands for a long time. They were completely wiped out after the arrival of Juan Ponce de Leon, a Spanish colonizer who introduced a system of slavery that forced the native Taino people to mine gold for them. Every major European empire wanted to occupy Borinquen, that's what Tainos called this island. It means land of the great lords. Puerto Rico is located at the entrance of the Caribbean and the San Juan Harbor, deep and calm water, provided a secure place for the sailors to repair damaged ships or restore food and water. People here also had exotic wood, spices, silver and gold that were important for the Spanish economy. Then the Americans came and after the Spanish-American War, Puerto Rico became part of the United States. Because the island is not a state and people here can vote or take advantage of some benefits that mainland Americans do. Long story short, because of its strategic location, this island struggled a lot with colonization. Some of them call themselves Boricuas, not Puerto Ricanos, to highlight that they belong to this island and it is their land. Also, it's been extremely difficult for me to find local people to hang out with. I tried finding someone on couch surfing, but it usually turns into a weird conversation such as why are you here if you don't want to party tonight? Or they just ghost me completely. I've been pretty unlucky with meeting locals and having conversations with them. The only Puerto Rican people I can talk to are Uber drivers and unfortunately I live pretty close to everything, so <laughs> the talks only take a few minutes. I can't get into their homes or can't hear their stories, which is kind of sad. Last couple of days I've been traveling around the island. I went on a road trip, I also went to two islands. So hopefully I'm gonna edit those videos soon and show you how beautiful this nature is here. And I wanna thank you very much for watching this video as always and I will see you soon. Take care you all. Shit about Diana.